Guys, yes. you are involved in the biggest movie of the biggest game, World of Warcraft, Warcraft. How excited are you and also are you nervous a little bit? I'm nervous, yeah, for sure. I'm always nervous, I'm just nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not nervous, I don't know, I don't think so. I mean, only because you can't predict the future and there's True. no kind of, there's, it doesn't help anything. I, yeah. I would, I'm just really happy to be in it. I, I love the finished product, I feel. Duncan Jones did an incredible job, mm -hmm. and so I'm just uh, I'm celebrating just what it is and all the yeah. hard work we did and yeah. and he did and all the people that worked on this film. It it took so many people to create this. I mean, I mean from all these props and our costumes and the visual effects and it's I don't know how many people you think are on the movie that make it's it be like five hundred thousand. What? <laughs> It's Nevertheless, fun. it's a lot, yeah. you know, so I think the, I don't know, I like to focus on the positive, so I'm excited yeah. about it. How long did it take you, specifically you two, you didn't have much makeup, but I mean, how long did it take you to, like, get transformed into what you are, and um, how comfortable or uncomfortable was it? Um, yeah, you had the most. I was in pyjamas with dots on my face. It takes minutes. <laughs> it was, it was, it, it, it took a long time, but I was thankful for it because it helped me feel like the character. It helped me feel like Garona, and... I think the most uncomfortable was probably my first day of working because I was working with all the humans and everybody was, they, had, they were cloth from head to toe and I walked in with, I call it my loincloth, and um, my very first day of shooting was with everybody meeting the king and um, half naked and uh, so I, once I took off my jacket I just said okay here we go and past that moment I just thought let me just uh, go for it and be all eyes on you. So, yeah, but that was an uncomfortable moment. Yeah, it was. <laughs> so what was the most challenging scene in, ge in general for all of you? Or maybe most, the most rewarding scene if you're watching the movie now? Well, we had to learn Orkish. We had to learn the language. There's a language they've created. And we sat together, we, we spent some time That's running true. over that. And then we had a big scene with... Uh, with uh, what's your Travis. name? Travis. Travis. With, Tra <laughs> <laughs> with Tra <laughs> nice to meet you. So, uh, with Travis and Dominic as the king, with Lothar and the king. And we had this me explaining, and we had another scene with Ben Schnetzer as the wizard, where I'm speaking in Orkish and you're explaining the situation. I mean, we had, th those were challenging for me. Learning Orkish. But you was, made it very easy. They took it so seriously. Yeah. I mean, it really, they took it very seriously. They wanted the pronunciation. Gibberish. To can you have a conversation now? Yeah, yeah but only in private. <laughs> I'm not I can feel it. Oh my God. Yeah. 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 She's right, I do. But, it's um, a feeling. It's yeah. a, I don't have the words like anymore. The yeah, but it is like the hacker, yeah. <laughs> How about you, Travis? What was your yeah. most challenging? Um, most challenging. I felt the armor was always challenging. It took like four people to get on and you needed help to get up on a horse. I fell off a horse. You did? Yeah, and I own a horse so I shouldn't fall off a horse. But <laughs> it was it was pretty embarrassing. During a rear? Was it when it reared? Yeah, I just couldn't get its feet. But um, I don't know, there's a lot of challenging. We shot all of it in Vancouver in these big sheds and they made these just tremendous sets. Like we were riding through forests with trees that are seven feet wide or seven meters well, I don't know how mm, seven meters yeah. what, what's the measurement well seven Give seven me meters would make a thousand let's yeah, say yeah. seven feet but the sets the sets that they built were just so unbelievable yeah. Yeah. you know i think the um the crew worked had a lot tougher days than we ever had mm. for sure now if you all have a personal message to the gamers what would it be enjoy the film uh, it's an homage to what you loved and I guess, you know, don't look for all the details, but enjoy the feeling and the passion and the heart that went behind it because God knows Duncan, our director, absolutely loves the game and wanted to do it justice. Yeah, and take your friends who don't play the game. Because yeah. it, 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 honestly, I didn't play the game, I still haven't played the game and I thoroughly enjoyed the film, which is rare, I hate my own work. I watched it, I was, I, I was enthralled, I really thoroughly, even Travis was good. I mean, it was, no, nah, it was brilliant. <laughs> Honestly, it was brilliant. At least you remember his name now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's great to meet you, mate. Yeah, yeah I, I've been wanting to meet this guy for years. <laughs> um, yeah, watch your film. I think it's amazing. I think it's something that uh, people haven't seen before and um, it's really enjoyable. Yeah. Our world is dying. There is nothing to go back to. If our people are to survive, we must make our home here. Whatever happens. Whatever happens. If we do not unite, our world will perish. This doesn't need to happen. There is one who may help us. For once, there is no one life but war.
the humans help. They could be. Why are you here? To save our people. Can we trust them? They're beasts. They should all be destroyed. Are you sure about that?